Hey, welcome to Ian's Computer Show. On our next episode, episode 2, this is the act evil we, deal, we dealt with in episode 1. I spoke about swapping out the processor. And while I was just looking at it, this is the act evil processor. 100 megahertz. Thing is, 3 pins across. It's 4 pins across. So getting back in there, getting the IBM one back in would be a headache. Next door is the Packard Bell processor. This one has four across. So it's going to be easier to put a new one in than to put the old one back in. So we're going to do that right now. So after a few minutes of trying to position the processor in its socket, I finally figure out really what's going on. Alright, the hard drive that's in here is about 10 years old and probably was never defragmented or air checked. So we're gonna do that now. Uh, it's only a. You can see here, only a 400 megabyte drive and most of it's used. I'll have to do a disk cleanup too. But we need to remember anything you do on this computer is going to be really slow. Hmm. See what that has to say. Maybe I'll do that. Program start faster, more disk space. Oh. Uh. <laughs> C drive cannot be converted because it's too small. There are no drives that can be converted to that 32. You can free up space to create a new compressed drive. I'm gonna do that. We might be able to dual boot this thing if I do it correctly. All right, it's done. We did it. Your computer's compressed drives have changed. You should restart your computer now. Until you do, you should not set up any new software or just system settings. Also, you will not be able to run programs in MS-DOS mode until you restart your computer. And that's basically what I do all the time. Windows will now restart your computer. If your computer does not restart by itself, the world may never know. Got him at the dollar store. It worked great with this cheesy sound. Next time on Ian's Computer Show. One of my best PCs, power supply dies, and is no longer usable. Will 
have two still be good for anything after I get my next computer? And what's gonna happen to that old Packer Bell next time on Ian's computer show?